today. It makes it hard for the customer to know the risk, uh, to know the cost of the credit they're taking on, and that makes a difference in terms of figuring out what you want to do. I think that particularly showed up in uh, uh, the home mortgage market, perhaps, uh, and others. Uh, the second is it obscures the risk associated with the product, and the third, and I think this is the most important, it makes it impossible to compare one product to another. And that keeps those markets from being functional competitive markets. So my view on this is this is all about just making the price clear to the customer. And if you make the price clear to the customer, it may be the case there will be some customers who will say, I don't want to spend that much money on credit and want to back out of the transaction in advance. But it means the market starts to work, and the market starts to work competitively. That's how I see it. Okay, we're going to make this the last oh, question. Okay. Last question. Okay, I, I'm make sorry. Make it a good one. All right. <laughs> this is not a particularly good No pressure. Um, I'm Robert England with Mortgage Banking Magazine, and I know the press is not supposed to ask the question. But I was wondering when the press would I'm sorry, what was that? Bring when, out the hook. When, when will... Um, we got here. I, I do interviews every single day with the press. Okay. This is my one chance in two years to talk to the Consumer Federation of America. I was just trying to see. It was mentioned earlier that we could have access later. Can we have a question? Al, for are, Al do, you, you. do you want to ask a question? You're up last. But yeah. Okay. Right, thank you. Al Sturman from Tucson, Arizona. What has the uh, what have you done and the people you're working with to monitor and enforce the rules and regulations to keep this market, to get this market open, and to keep it open, often pass a law in Washington, D.C., then it goes nowhere. And how do we keep that going as far as the consumer movement is concerned and individual consumers? It's a good question. So let me start by reminding you of our timeline, okay? We pick up transferred authorities from the other seven agencies that have a piece, some different piece, of the consumer uh, uh, financial protection area, and we pick up the authority to enforce the 19 federal consumer protection laws that are in place on July 21st, 2011. So right now we're building the agency trying to understand, get lots of good advice and information and collect data about what's going on. But we don't actually have authorities until starting uh, in mid-summer, basically, when we get there and we will take this over from the other agencies. But what I will say to you is what you identify is a big part of the reason for this agency, is to make structural change. It has been, I believe, the experience in the United States that when seven agencies own a piece of consumer financial protection, nobody really stands up for it in the same way. It was a secondary or tertiary uh, issue for uh, agencies that were designed to do other things. And so for the first time, we will have one agency focused on this, which should make a big difference in enforcement. And more to the point, one agency you can hold accountable if they fail the American families, because we cannot fail the American families. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Professor Warren. <laughs>